Good morning, everyone. This is Chris. We're going to come back at you with yet another Let's Try. Uh, today, on the docket, we're going where no Royce has gone before. But many of you have, I assume. Today on the docket, we're trying... Ba -da -ba -ba. Taco Bell, Live Moss, Run for the Border, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. I hope that wasn't racist. But it is not any normal Taco Bell, I see. Because one thing from Taco Bell I have never sampled is their breakfast menu. So I got two different Taco Bell menu items from their breakfast menu. The Bacon Grande Burrito and the Bacon Crunchwrap Supreme. I also got some, uh, I also got some mild sauce in case these taste pretty, in case these taste too bland. So I'm going to add even more blandness to it. Um, okay, so first things first, the, instead of the normal hexagon, this is almost a, this is almost a pentagon shape. And it's much smaller than a normal crunch. Well, not much smaller, but a bit smaller than a normal crunch wrap. I believe it's the same size tortilla, but it is folded in more. Like, look at that big seam there. Anyway, let's try it. Ooh. Hmm. So, it is pretty bland, but there is some interesting stuff going on here. As you can see, there's hash brown, bacon, eggs, cheese, and a little bit of seasoning on the eggs of some kind. Is that like a sauce? Or maybe like just the normal Taco Bell flavors on the, on the, uh, dazzled on the eggs? There's a little bit of, of something in there. Ah! Don't fall. There we go. I had a weird week. Today is Friday. It's my weekend now. But I had a weird, weird week. And it even started off weird. So, Sunday night... I... Ooh! The mild sauce makes it taste so much better! That's the secret to Taco Bell. You just drown everything in sauce. Anyway, so Sunday night is my Monday now, which makes sense. My work days are weeknights. Um, which is way better than what my, well, I mean, like, depending on who you ask. But anyway, um, so my card hit a bump one too many times because there's this bump outside work and I sometimes forget it's there especially when it's dark or when it's snowing and so a hole got in the tire not a big hole but like you know one of those holes where your tire where you, your tire is inflated in the morning and deflated at night So I asked my cousin to take me to work that night. And, uh, he does. 
I'm also out of soda. So I... Oh well, no, I'm not out of soda. I forgot my sodas. So I order... <clears throat> Sorry. So I decided to cash in my Domino's coupon and order a um, spinach feta pizza. Sans onion, but add on tomatoes and add on tomatoes and uh, tomatoes and uh, mushrooms. Basically, a, a vegetarian pizza, which isn't uh, which isn't uh, the healthiest, but it's healthier, you know. Um. But so anyway, I go so I get so and I also ordered a diet coke with it to be my drink for that night. About a half hour into my shift, I hear a sound like rushing air, and. I look at the entrance, and in the entryway, there is misting. And my first thought is, oh no, not again. Because I have had a frozen pipe burst on me at my job before. The last time it happened, the whole hotel flooded. This time, though, it was on the first floor in the entryway, thank God. But, so, I, and then immediately after I see it, the fire alarm goes off, because one of the fire sprinklers was technically triggered. It, um, what had caused it to freeze up was that the, uh, was that the, uh, was that the heat in the entryway had, was broken. So... Basically, there was nothing to keep that area warm, and so that, so the fire pipe burst. Um, so that was a big thing. Everyone, you know, like, gas pan, luckily me and a guest managed to track down the fire sprinkler system and turn it off. But it was still a, a big thing, and in the middle of all this mess, a pizza gets delivered to me. And I feel like an idiot sitting there eating my pizza while other people are doing the work, because, like... There, there, there are only so many shop vacs and mis and rug doctors that the hotel has. Also, I was starving. Hmm. So immediately, I like the flavor on this a bit better because instead of a hash brown, it's got their Fiesta potatoes in it. And their Fiesta potatoes are seasoned very similarly to their nacho fries or to something more publicly available, the curly fries from uh, Arby's. Oh, look at that, a big pocket of bacon in the middle. But, so that was Sunday. Flat tire. And my work floods. But we got it cleaned up pretty fast. Mm. Tuesday night. Or Monday night. Uh, the people who own... The, the, the people who franchise the property I work at... Also franchise the property across the uh, 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 across the parking lot, and the kid working there came over and asked me to help him with some stuff. So I do. I come back and there's this lady just standing in the lobby, like, "Hey, can you give me a ride?" And I'm like, "No." And like, she is either drunk or high or something. She is like, really weird, and she's just pestering me and pestering me. Finally, I call. I'm like, I'm trying to help her. Like, I 
do finally manage to get hold of a cab, and he says it's going to be about 15 minutes, and I'm like, and, but I am a little mean about her, saying, like, there's this lady giving me, who, who's making my life heck, can you please come pick her up? And he says, oh, uh, that, that'll be triple then, and I said, you can work that out with her, she's paying. And she's like, am I really giving you trouble? And I'm like, yes, you're drunk. You're, you, you're clearly like, nah, you know, you are being way too, and she like asks for my name because she wants to report me or something because she is not a guest of the hotel. She is a drunk woman or high woman something who wandered in off the street and wanted me to get her a ride home. And, like, she wasn't, like, a homeless woman or anything. She was dressed pretty well. But it was still weird that she was doing this. Um, more weird, even. Because, like, you expect to get harassed by a homeless person in the middle of winter. <clears throat> um... Man. <clears throat> These breakfast burritos kind of suck, but the taco sauce makes it. I should just buy I should just buy a thing of of a uh, mild sauce to keep in the house and put it on my eggs. I did that once. Um I just bought a thing of like mild sauce from Taco that was like, you know, that was Taco Bell branded from Walmart. And I put on my pizzas and stuff, but I never thought to put, you know, I'm not really a hot sauce and eggs kind of guy, so I, because I'm not really an egg guy, so I've never done it before, but I should do that more. Anyway, where was I? Um, okay. So like, but she is so like intoxicated that she can't even read my name tag, so then she asks what my name is. And I just say Carl, which is funny as hell that she, you know, because she, th she she legitimately thinks I'm Carl now. And then Tuesday night, my password, no, or I'm not able to log into anything. And I'm starting to hyperventilate and think that I, I was getting fired or something and that, that this was their way of telling me. And so I call IT, and they say, no, your password, or your, your, your account's just temporarily inactive because the manager didn't re, the general manager didn't, didn't, didn't renew your thing. Because there's a lot of weird stuff going on. But like, we currently don't have a general manager at the hotel. Because she, she was a corporate assigned general manager, and she walked out saying we were unmanageable. Which one of my old coworkers loved because he's one of those like constitutionalists whose 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 life motto is be ungovernable, be un be ungovernable. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, um. So then, oh lord, what else? Uh, okay. So then I drive. So then I drive my car with the leaky tire, all the way to, um, all all the way to a, a, a mechanic that's near where my grandma lives because he's a friend of the family and stuff. On Wednesday morning, and my mom and grandma dump a bunch of chili on me, like not not literally, but I mean like they give me five containers of a really tasty but really acidic chick or chill red chili made with of all things uh Thai chicken that my grandma got from like Costco or Sam's or something. 
Like, it tastes great, but it's still weird. Excuse me. And so then, let's see. So then, because my car's in the shop, I borrow my mom's car. A very nice Pacifica. I drive the Pacifica back to back to uh, back to town where I get my where I get the Sonic peanut butter stuff that you all saw already. Um, I pick up my cousin's birthday present, which you all saw already. I go home, go to sleep, wake up late, get to work, ten minutes late, which kind of sucks. And everyone was commenting about like me getting subway like. I got the subway because I had a two-for-one coupon, okay? That was two meals I didn't have to worry about. That was dinner, and or that was like my wake-up meal, which I guess for me is technically breakfast, but honestly it's just dinner. Like, because it, it's an evening meal, so it's dinner. And then my work meal, which is lunch. Um, and those are really good. I did like those a lot. Uh, what else? And then, okay, so then... But that, but after that, that was a pretty normal night. But then last night, Thursday night, was the kicker. That was the weird thing. The really, really weird thing. That, to cap off this week of odd circumstance. I was just sitting there, doing my, doing my daily, doing my nightly duties. When, uh, when, and a, a man in plain clothes and three cops walk in, and the man and I ask the man like, "Hey, how you doing?" And he's like, oh, "I could be better. I'm not here under the best circumstances." And I was assuming that maybe he he the police were escorting him like he was a witness or something, but then he flashes me his badge. The dude is a federal agent, FBFing I, and he and he's like. We're here to see so and so, and I'm like, oh lord, um, I've never done, I've never had to deal with this before. Uh, uh, do I need to see a warrant? Like, like, I don't, I've never like, I've dealt with cops on my job before, but never the 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 FBI, like people who don't need to tell you why they're there. <laughs> but you know, I'm like. Uh, he's in this room. Go get him, I guess. Because I didn't want to be... Because, like... Look, I don't want to... Look, I, I don't know how legal that was, but... I do know what... I do... I I didn't want those... I didn't want to be beat up by a bunch of cops. Okay, cops scare me. I know, I know. Cops are there to protect you or whatever. Look, I... I have... I've had a couple bad experiences with law enforcement... And I'm I'm a very paranoid individual. Anyway, so uh, like like they didn't like arrest me or anything. They just forced me to give a lady a refund, and then one and then one dude impounded my car, but and talked down to me a lot. Anyway, but so they go up, they come back down about ten minutes later to leave. They don't have anyone with them, so you know like they didn't arrest the guy or anything. And they, they also had asked me a weird question before they went up. They asked me if there were any families staying in the vicinity. Now, my first thought was, oh no, what if there's a shootout? Like, and that's why they're asking. I, but, and I said no. But then I talked to some people on Discord, and they said they wouldn't have, they would have evacuated the building if that were the case. No, the, the, the reason they, the, they probably asked about the reason that the people on Discord said that the cops, and, or that the FBI agent probably a asked about the, uh, the, about families, about kids specifically being around, is because it was, and especially since there's a, a fed involved, the, the, the dude that they're after is probably a sexual predator. And I'm like, oh my god. And like, the worst part is, this man is was like one of the higher tier members of our hotel's uh, reward system, which means that he not only that he probably does this very often at our hotel chain, 
which is really scuzzy to think about. <sighs> oh, Lord. I gotta go get my car today. I'm just tired. It's been a long week. <laughs> oh, and also, like, they denied my vacation. I want to go up to De go up to my grandma's to spend time with her, especially with my great aunt in hospice, because she's gonna, you know, my grandma's gonna need the support, and it's her birthday. And you know, I like I'm willing to work Christmas. I'm willing to work New Year. Telling me I can't go to my grandma's birthday when she is, you know, when she's, that's, you're not winning that fight. I will, I will just not show up for work. I will be in Des Moines for that time frame that I need. <sighs> And if they want to, and if they want to fire me over that, they're more than welcome to. I've got a lot of experience in this field. I can get a, I can get a similar job. I might actually try to go for a desk job at a, at, at a call center or something because that would probably be more, you know, less stressful, especially in the coming summer months. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thank y'all for hearing me out. Y'all have a good one. This is Royce Miller. I'm outie.